Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and welcome to probably the biggest unboxing I have ever done. Wow, look at the size of this box. So this is going to be the MSI Seahawk GTX 980Ti. So this will be quite interesting, um, doing this unboxing. So yeah, this is a uh, all-in-one liquid cooled uh, GTX 980Ti. So let's rip into it because I have absolutely no idea what this comes with. Uh, so it's all going to be new to me. So uh, if you're unaware, the GTX 980 uh, 980Ti has been out for a little while now, and the GPU it features is the, is the GM200-310 Maxwell GPU, so it's a slightly nerfed uh, Titan X, basically, GPU in it. Um, it's on a 28 nanometer uh, process as well. Oh, let's just see. Okay, this is fairly heavy. We'll get this out. Now we come. All right. So of course that GPU is coming with uh, 2,816 uh, 2, CUDA cores, if I can say that properly. That's down from the 3,072 CUDA cores you get on the Titan X. As we open this guy up and we see on the top, it's a little bit messy, but we have some accessories there, so we'll get into them. We have a, okay, this is just going to be setup guide. We have a driver CD for all those people that, you know, need it. Most of these now, what I'm finding with NVIDIA products, NVIDIA is just putting GeForce experience on this. So if you don't have internet access, it's not going to help you because it doesn't actually have the driver on the CD. It's just, you know, GeForce experience and it, it still needs to download it. Uh, big plot here. This will just be probably... Products. Oh no, this is the quick user's guide. So the other one is probably a product guide. And we see a uh, four pin to six pin adapter. Is that it? Oh, and we got some oh, screws down here for uh, obviously the radiator. Okay, very good. So let's get this guy out. As you can see, they have the all in one liquid cooler up the top there. Okay, so how are we going to do this? I guess we'll get this sort of foam out of the way. Lift the ghost card out. And then lift the cooler out. There we go. Alrighty. Get this big box out of the way. Here we go, guys. Radiator down. So, yeah, um, memory wise, 980Ti is uh, half of what the Titan X has. So, it's coming with 6 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. That's on uh, a 384-bit bus at 7,010 megahertz. My god, this is really good looking. Wow, what a card. Whew, it's not often I see really, really sexy cards um, like to this degree. Wow, this is really, really nice, guys. I kind of like the Fury, the Strix Fury, when I took that out. It's quite amazing. So nice big back plate there. You can see, uh, if you look through the plastic paneling on the front, you can see the pump there as well. The Corsair pump. And as we look over, big braided lines here, really, really big. And uh, we're seeing a 120mm radiator with a Corsair fan on it. Quite a thin radiator, but um, this will do a very, very good job for uh, cooling this graphics card. Oh, let's flip you around there. So, yeah, um... Memory-wise, very good as well. Uh, now, specifically with the boost speeds on this guy, it's coming in with a 1,000 and 1,291 MHz boost clock and a 1,190 MHz base clock. However, GPU Boost 2.0 will obviously change this. TDP-wise, it's coming with a 250-watt TDP, which is the same as the Titan X, and, uh, which is much higher than the 165-watt TDP of the 980 and getting kind of close to what you see from AMD, a lot of the AMD cards are at 275 watts. That means you're going to have a minimum power requirement of this guy of uh, 600 watts. Now that is usually a bit higher than what it needs to be, but um, yeah, that's what NVIDIA is saying. Now size-wise of the graphics card, this isn't going to, well, this might matter to some people, but um, obviously when you have a 120mm radiator attached, you're also going to need to mount the 120mm rad as well. Um, but the graphics card itself is coming in with uh, it's two uh, 270 millimeters long by 111 millimeters wide by 
40 millimeters tall. This does have a nice back plate too, as I showed you before. So power connector, guys. Sorry, it's kind of a little bit awkward to do this with the radiator. Um, so yeah, pins-wise, this is coming with a uh, four-pin and a six-pin. Oh, eight-pin and a six-pin. Sorry, I'm just a little bit off today. Uh, comes, it has a four-way SLA. You see the two fingers up the top there, so that's pretty standard. I.O. wise, let's have a look. It's probably just the standard you get from NVIDIA and is and DVI-I is labeled as DVI-I. Wow, something Asus didn't seem to get right on that Fury. Whoops, it is. is. So yeah, uh, just a single DVI at the top, triple display port down the bottom and HDMI, that'll be HDMI 2.0 so that'll allow you to do uh, 4K video at 60 hertz, uh, which is really good big step up. AMD should have been doing this a million years ago. And now uh, that's the card. So quite interesting from MSI. I'm sure mounting this will be a bit more fun than the usual graphics card. But of course this should be go really good. Whoopsies. Um, so yeah. I have high hopes for this guy. A lot of these hybrid um, liquid and air GPUs do liquid cool GPUs. Uh, do very well. They're usually very, very silent, and also they tend to perform very well as well. So that's so it should be quite interesting. Now my question to you guys is, what do you want this to go up against? Now personally, I think it would be cool to put this up against an uh, air-cooled GTX 980 Ti, just to see the difference between the you know liquid and air-cooled one and then just a normal air-cooled 980 Ti. That's what I think. However, uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you think would make for a good showdown. So maybe Fury X. Maybe you could put it up against a Fury. Um, yeah, just let me know down in the comment section. I'll read through and uh, if any of the suggestions I think are really good, then I'll do it in my next showdown. Now, I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.